Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Alashai, by Hashem Kahakodash. Double honors into my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught me this truth, who will well teach well, with much diligence watching over the flock. Peace, love, salutation to the whole four elect kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word and sincerity and in truth, patiently waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to redeem us from the land of our captivity here in America. Known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great, and likewise from around the rest of the world, where Israel has been scattered as a whole. Okay, Shalom to all you brothers and sisters who are out there listening and learning, you know, patiently waiting. Okay, um, Brother Amawan from the Great Millstone Branch, Los Angeles. I'm on the back here uh, this morning. I believe it's like around 7 o'clock, um, around 7 10, 7 8, 7 10 um, a.m. Uh, today's date. Is um, let's see, get it for you, brothers. It's the eighth today. Today is the eighth, and um, I have another lesson here prepared for you. Uh, Akyam Wak Wak this morning, uh, entitled Remember Lot's Wife. You know, remember Lot's wife. Now, this lesson is basically more focused on brothers that have wives, you know, brothers that have a woman that they're dealing with. You know, to um, remember Lot's wife, you know, um, when you go and read Genesis, which we're going to open up and read Genesis 19, 17 to 26. Um, well, first here in uh, Luke, um, the account of uh, of uh, nah, let's, let's just jump it, let's get up in here. Genesis, get the account first. Um, when you read up in uh, Genesis, because when Yahweh Shai was to depart and go back to the Heavenly Father, he re he reminded the disciples to remember Lot's wife. Because when all hell breaks loose, when things get real turbulent, you're going to have a lot of women getting Lot's, Lot's wife spirit. Okay, and, and Lot's wife, one of the things that she erred in, she looked back towards her possessions that she had in this world. And the women that we have, you know, they're of this world. The scriptures say, "He that have a wife, uh, seeketh um, to seeketh uh, to please her by the things of the world." You know, so these women are worldly, man. You know, we can't change uh, the way that the Most High created them. You know, this is what this is what how the Lord made it up to be. You know, you can't when 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 when. When Esau really mandates this thing and things get real turbulent, you you got to remember Lot's wife, that your woman can actually be in those same steps, man. You know, don't think that your woman is going to ride or die with you until the end and all that, man. You can't be thinking like that. These women are jump shift on you real quick. You know, even women that saying that they in the truth, you know. But I pray, you know, brothers, you know, sisters that they don't, the sincere ones don't end up like this and that they really stay true to heart. You know, being like women of a better example, like the Maccabees' uh, uh, mother of the seven children, she had faith. But this woman lacked faith. All right, let's get into it. We've done enough talking. Um, let's get right into it. So this is Genesis uh, 19 and uh, 15 all the way to 26. Let's get the account first. It says... And when he and when the morning rose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. See, um, the angels came to Lot, you know, and his uh, daughters and his uh, wife to uh, leave the city because the Lord was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And same thing today. The Most High is about to destroy uh, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, which is America. A.K.A. Babylon the Great. Okay, this this city is filled with iniquity, and the Lord is telling us to flee, and don't look back. You know, don't look back at anything of this world. Okay, because the world, everything that you see is gonna perish. And while he lingered, the men, verse sixteen, while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hand of his two daughters. The Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and sent him without the city. See, Lot was lingering. 
you know, and, and that's one thing we can't be in the spirit to be lingering here, you know, still trying to hold on to a couple of things that we got. Nah, when it's time to go, it's time to go, man. Let's look up this word linger from the Hebrew word, um, maha, mahaha. It says to linger, tarry, wait, to delay. So Lot was delaying. He was he was dragging his feet. All right. When, when, when the time comes, you don't want to be dragging your feet, man. OK, it says, and it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, escape for thy life. Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. OK, and Lot said unto him, oh, not so, my Lord. Behold, now thy servant hath, behold, now thy servant hath found grace in thy sight and now has magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in, in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil take me and I die. Behold, now the city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I would not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou come hither. Thither, Therefore the name of the city was called Zor. The sun so like if the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zor, then the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven, and he overthrew the, those cities and all the plain and the inhabitant of those cities and that which grew upon the ground. But his wife looked, but his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Okay, and that was the image that you brothers saw. Uh, when I open up with, when, when when she looked back, all right, the Lord turned her into a pillar of salt, a mind, a, 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 a remembrance forever of of, how, of what not to do, okay? Looking back towards your possessions, and the Lord gave us commandment, gave Lot and his wife and his daughters commandment to flee into the city. You know, the Most High had, he, he had mercy on Lot. You know, he was still lingering. But the, but the, his wife wanted to stay here, you know, because, hey, man, these women, their mind is not uh, geared towards the kingdom of heaven. They're in they're in the now. They're not in. in they're not in for the later, man. And I'm just speaking facts. And that's majority of the women. I'm not saying the woman, the, the few women that are really trying to fight themselves and, you know, deny themselves, not end up like women's lot. But majority of these women are in the spirit of lots of women. Okay, and they want to stay here. They want to live it up here, and 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 they just gonna be made examples of of unbelievers, man. It says Luke seventeen and twenty six, and and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drink, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. The same thing is happening now. All right, you got everybody multiplying ch uh, children, having sex like crazy. Everybody's partying like it's 1999. You know, the, they see all these things happening in the world, and people are consuming alcohol more, consuming, uh, smoking more weed, doing more whatever drugs that they're doing. They're getting more heavy on it, okay? And people are partying more, just want to party. Oh, I'm done with I'm done with this Maxine measurements. I'll steer, I'm trying to party. I'm going to take this. Vanessa, because I'm just trying to party. I don't care what they shoot at me. I'm just trying to party. You know, people will just want to go back to so-called normalcy. It says, likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they brought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of, the, of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. See, nuclear missiles is going to rain down upon this place and destroy America. Oh, it's going to obliterate this place, man. Okay? So the same thing that happened in the time of Lot, they ate, they drank, they planted. And in the time of Noah, it's the same thing happening now. The same way that, that, that things were happening back then, it ain't no new thing under the sun. Verse 31, And that day he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. 
and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life in my sake, for my who and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Okay. So that's the spirit you got to be in. You got to be, we in a time of sacrifice. We have sacrificed our life since we crossed over into this thing. And if need be that we have to sacrifice to gain our life, hey, it is what it is. But one thing we can't do is look back. Look back at, 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 at that dung that you left years ago. All right, you don't want to look, look back to that old man, this old world still holding on to this place. Scriptures say, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. See, and that's the spirit that uh, uh, Lot's wife was in. Her lot, her mind was in this world. Same thing today. These these women's minds are in this world. You know, they're they're not thinking about the Lord. They're not thinking about, or even believing that there's a such thing as uh, spiritual riches. When the Lord simply says, "Store your riches in heaven," you got these women still trying to hold on to these carnal possessions, man. The Lord is going to bless us with things of, above what we see, what we know. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what the Lord God prepared for us. But yet you got, you got, you're going to have women in these last days that's going to uh, turn and, and continually hold on to these worldly possessions. Okay. The Lord just said he that have, uh, if you, whatever you left in the house, just leave it. Go. You know, these are the days of evil. Be as pilgrims on the earth. You don't want to, oh, you're not about to take my house. You're not about to take my car. Esau come busting in. You know, you're trying to defend your little man. <laughs> you're going to perish right with those belongings, man. You know? And we ain't taking none of this stuff with us. Okay? None of this stuff will come with us in the kingdom of heaven. Not even, not even these flesh and blood. Not even these bodies that we possess. How much more these little carnal things that we see. You know, we scriptures say flesh and blood can't inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know, so even our own bodies and, and, and molecular, uh, molecular structure, everything is going to be changed. So you got to completely dis detach from uh, America and, 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 and all types of emotions, man. Completely get off sync with this place. Uh, 1 Corinthians 7, uh, chapter 7, verse 29. Uh, but this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. You know, that that's that's plain, man. You know, the time is short. And, and brothers that do got wives, brothers that do got women, it's like you got to be in the spirit that you don't even have one. And you want to think like that because the minute you start worrying about your woman and all that, that's when you begin to get weak. But the minute you start worrying about if your woman gonna stay on stay with you in that time, that's when you're gonna become weak. You gotta you gotta think like it, like she already ready to bounce when that time come. You gotta <laughs> it's it sucks to say that, but you gotta think you gotta you gotta think about the afterthought. You gotta think about the worst. What if she was to uh take Maxine? What if she was to take the you over here? Oh my baby ain't gonna do it. She ain't, you don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what this woman would do. You know? She wasn't, hey, hey, marvel not. Hey, the scriptures say marvel not if she trespass against thee. You know what I'm saying? These women, man. You know, Lot didn't think his wife would turn. <laughs> Lot didn't think his wife would turn back. <laughs> and look what happened. She turned back into a pillar of salt. You know? And a lot of a lot of our women that we think is with us, shit, watch them turn coat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because these women, oh man, hey brothers, man, I'm telling you right now, you women are fickle. Well, throughout my years of experience with women, you know, and I'm a young brother too. I got older brothers in the, you know, that I've known for over a decade now. Put me on game. And this truth of regarding women, just experiences, and 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 man, and you just know these women are fickle. They will switch on you, man. It says Philippians two and twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See, 
Yeah, you want to help your woman. You wish the best for your woman. You want your woman to be saved and all that. But at the end of the day, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. Just that. You know? When you begin to worry about somebody else's salvation because they're not worried about their salvation, that's when you begin to uh, uh, lose focus on your own salvation. You know, you got to worry about you. You know, everybody has their own individual walk in this thing. Okay, up to the pleasing of the Lord. Everybody got their own walk, how to please the Most High and His Son. You know, get this last scripture. You know, we can't save somebody that don't want to be saved. Like Lot's wife, she looked back. Apparently, she wasn't she wasn't down with, 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 with suffering loss for a time, you know, when they were rich. You know, and that's another thing. These possessions here, brother or sister may have good possessions. It, hey, you, you, that time won't come when you have to make a decision. So Rock 7 and 26 <clears throat> Has thou a wife after thy mind? Forsake her not, but give not thyself over to a light woman. You know, don't don't give yourself over to a light woman. You know, you worrying about a chick that, oh, she loved me, but she took the vaccine. Hey, that woman is through, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with a woman that may have took the vaccine, she's through. She's unfaithful. She's a light-minded woman. All this information that's out, you know, and and she, and and she wasn't aware of taking this thing. She's through. You know, you you you're done. You know, you you can't. It don't matter, man. You you need here in these last days. We ain't we ain't about to be worrying about no women, man. Okay, like even our own women. If they ain't, if they ain't riding with us in that time, it is what it is, man. You gonna have to make a choice. Well, I had to make a choice. You know, he is sitting here lingering. Oh, but look, these things. The Lord have mercy on him, man. The same thing with brothers too. Like, oh my wife, man. The Lord will snap you, slap you in the face to get you. Like, hey, man, it's, you know, <laughs> you better focus on this, you know, cause your one don't. Hey, man, be ready, be ready for whatever. You know, we we pray for the best for our woman, but at the same time, you gotta remember Lot's wife, man, and they were down for each other. Okay, I'm not saying all all the women, you know, they gonna end up like Lot's wife, but shoot, uh, that's what it's looking like. Women of the world, I say. But call hello, yahabashimiyahushai, bashimakakudash. Until the next one, I say shalom.